Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be. This is a video response to one of my Guitar Super System courses that I am essentially going to show you how to read a document of triads up and across the fingerboard because there's a little bit of confusion on what exactly the best way is to go about playing these inversions and how to read these documents. So I'm going to use the major triads document, but what I'm about to explain is applicable to all the major, minor, augmented, and diminished triads. It's the same exact concept. So with triads up and across the fingerboard, you don't really have to pay attention to that terminology. Really the most important thing from this document is to learn the root position, first inversion, and second inversion triads on each string set. So we'll start here with the root position G major triad on the fourth string set. Now, as we can see, it's having us go up the fingerboard to the first inversion. So here's the root position. And now we're going to go up the fingerboard to the first inversion. And now we're going to go up the fingerboard again to the second inversion. And as I explained in the other videos, an inversion is simply these same notes just reorganized. So the root position, G, B, and D, are just reorganized here for the first inversion, B, D, and G. And then of course up here we have D, G, and B. And then we're back to our original position. So that's all that means going across the fingerboard. Now up the fingerboard is simply understanding that these inversions exist on four different string sets. So with the fourth and third string set, they're actually the same shapes, they're just in different areas because this G here is in a different spot. Um, so as we go continue here, let's say we're in this root position here, we're going to do the same exact thing to go up the fingerboard. So the biggest thing to remember is to find the root position on each string set first. And then you can discover where these different inversions are just by constructing each inversion using the patterns from this document. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the forum here and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But essentially, all you really wanna do is learn these positions by root first and then learn the first inversion on each string set, second inversion on each string set, and then you will be a triad master. For those of you watching this on YouTube or Facebook and you want to get your hands on these major, minor, augmented, and diminished triad inversion documents, you should sign up for Guitar Super System Level 1. That's where this lesson is housed and it's joined by a host of many other lessons. So please sign up for that. I'll put the link in the description of this video on YouTube and I'll see you there.